All right, I know what you're all thinking. I saw your faces when I came in. I look like Jim Carrey from me, myself, and Irene. I got it, I got it. But I figured out a new life hack, okay? I joined the military for two days, got the free haircut I was out. I look like John Cena if you can't see his muscles. So I'm Ryan Manzo, I'm one of Chris Jones' homies, uh, also a comedian. Uh, just up at the top, I do want to say, if you like any of my jokes tonight, I am online. The website's meganslaw.com. <laughs> I'm the red dot. I love that website. Sometimes I'll be on there late at night, and I'll just filter it by women only. Treat it like a dating app. <laughs> oh my God. You know those women hook up on the first date. You know it, you know it. It's a perfect scenario. <laughs> they never want to go out late, because they have a curfew. And they never want to have kids because they're not allowed to have them. <laughs> Super happy to be here to celebrate Chris's birthday. I remember the first time I saw Chris perform down at the V spot. He was doing a crusher set. It was something about how he hates black people. He killed me. <laughs> After that, I just, I knew this guy had something going on. <laughs> He's good. He's good. A little bit about myself, get to know me a little bit. Um, if I seem jumpy tonight, it's because my dealer gave me a new strain of weed to try. It's called crack. <laughs> I asked him if it's an indica or a sativa. He's like, buddy, it's crack. <laughs> uh, I like to watch documentaries. I like to watch a lot of Netflix. I saw a documentary the other day about a couple who tried meth for the first time. After they finished doing it, they went out in negative 20 degree weather and they froze to death. They died. The lesson that I learned is that meth is a summer drug. <laughs> Something good about me, uh, my grandfather was a very honorable man, very proud of him, he served in World War II. I even got a tattoo right here in his honor. Yeah, don't say Lou yet. Uh, the weird part is that he was on the losing team. I can't show you the tattoo, I got so much trouble for the tattoo. There's a, there's a show I like to watch, it's an old show, it's called Gilligan's Island. I'm sure some of you heard of it. I don't think they should call it that just because he's there all the time. They don't call it Ryan's Chinese Massage Parlor. I got a discount. I like that joke a lot, it's one of my favorite jokes. Um, and it inspired me, it reminded me of this old Disney movie I used to watch, Hunchback of Notre Dame. And it's the same thing, it's really insensitive to call the movie that just because that dude had a messed up body part. They don't call me the big dick of North Scranton. <laughs> I mean, they should. Three things about me that I need you to know before I move on. Number one, I had sex with my teacher in middle school. <laughs> Number two, I've been to 11 countries. Yeah, a lot in the Caribbean. Number three, I was homeschooled. <laughs> I had a rough childhood, I'll admit it. Yeah, I've had some bad memories. Uh, I remember the first time I got caught watching porn. It just burned in my head what my dad said to me. He was like, Ryan, get out of here so I can finish. <laughs> and he did. Yeah. He finished. He closed that laptop and got escorted out of that library. <laughs> that was the first time I saw a man in handcuffs. Not my dad, the guy in the video. <laughs> in middle school, I used to drink a lot of alcohol to try to fit in with my parents at home. My parents loved alcohol, but you would never dare bring drugs in their house. Like, they were really sweet people, but as soon as you brought drugs in the house, they turned into thieves. <laughs> it was the worst. And like, I mean, I really shouldn't joke about my dad. My family lost my dad, a uh, tragic accident. He, um, he slipped and fell into a married woman's vagina. <laughs> that was kind of it. <laughs> and like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I do have some good memories with my dad. Like he used to play with me in the backyard. Like some very vivid memories of him throwing me up in the air, playing with me. Just don't have a lot of memories coming back down. <laughs> he dropped me, is <laughs> what I'm trying to say. And maybe I deserved it, I don't know, I was a bad kid. I was one of those kids like that used to burn ants with magnifying glasses. My uncles hated it. <laughs> one joke for me, people, I get one. <laughs> I, uh, I get my car registered on 9-11 every year so that I never forget. <laughs> that brought him back. I don't do a political joke now, I'm gonna finish up with that. I don't do a lot of political jokes because by now you can probably tell I'm not really anybody's demographic. 
not someone that should be voting. But I do have one political opinion that I'm going to share here to close out. So I think that the icing on a toaster strudel looks a lot like cum. <laughs> and it gave me an idea for a really funny prank, right? See, I have a roommate at home. And the one day I decided I was going to go in the kitchen, I made two toaster strudels, put them on identical plates. One of them I put the icing on from the box, and uh, one of them I iced myself. <laughs> Brought both of them in the living room, served them up. I'm sitting there eating my toaster strudel, just laughing in my head. I'm like, this is great. Nobody knows I'm eating cum right now. <laughs> I don't have to hide it anymore. Post up and ride, man. So thank you so much. Have a good time.